Hi, my name is Sonia Caldwell and I'm an artist, a craftsperson and a member of the Heritage for School scheme. And I'm particularly interested in the area of heritage crafts and that's really looking back to a time when craft was a way of life, it was an integral part of the local economy and the local community. You know, going back to basics really, craft provided the basic needs for life, which was sort of food and shelter and clothing, as well as kind of customs and rituals and then decorative arts alongside it. Many crafts over time became more professionalised and more highly skilled and um, some of them are a lot more easier to pick up on a domestic level and often just handed down from generation to generation within the home. So an interesting way of getting a snapshot of this is to look back um, at your local area um, at a time when craft businesses were thriving. So in my local village, I would made, was making inquiries for a school project and I discovered that there was a thriving tailor business in the village, as well as there was a cart maker, there was a clock maker, there was a thriving carpentry business. Two interesting websites were sort of helpful. One is the National Archive Census Forums where you can go and see um, what professions there were from the 1911 census as well as other, th other censuses and you can look in your area specifically and look up family names and see what professions. A lot of blacksmiths and tailors often come up um, as well as other interesting professions. And the Dukas.ie website where the from the Folklore Commission um, letters from children from schools from the 1930s. There's an also interesting way of you can type in keywords of a particular craft you're researching and you can find out if something comes up either from your area or even just your county and you can get a broad snapshot of that time back then. So as I said earlier some of the crafts you know they're slightly more complex to just pick up um, but often it's interesting part of research is to actually go back to looking to making crafts again and um, maybe bringing back a craft that has been gone for many generations. Basket making, which is a specific area of interest of mine, you know, there were many professional basket makers, but alongside that, many, many people made their own baskets. So it's a nice project to do if you're out picking blackberries, is just to really just fashion a really rustic basket with the help of some some, some maybe online tutorials or something, um, get some hedgerow materials and just make a very basic basket. So really craft is to be celebrated as a way of life back then and maybe looking at how it could be celebrated in the future um, as it was a very sustainable way of life.